Hello once again, Johnny London here and a little bit of a different thing today, uh, a job that's been bugging me for a while. I wanted to um, paint just around the inside of the surrounds of the hatch uh, to match the doors that I did some time ago. Didn't do a video about those uh, because it was the same as painting the bow doors. So, um, so to take the hatch off I've got to slide it right back and to slide it right back I've got to move all my wood which is what I've just been doing. Um, so I'm going to get on and finish that, take the hatch off and then that will give me like really good access. I can give everything a bit of a sand and a clean up and just get it really nice, you know, before I sort of start painting it. It's a lovely day and I just wanted something to do to sort of be outside without lounging around and where I could sort of enjoy the sun and the scenery and listen to a bit of radio and uh, just sort of potter around really. So it should be the perfect little task for today. I start by clearing some of the wood from my roof. The easiest way to move it is to put it in this tarp. It's off to the well deck for now. pallet I put to one side. Of course a long time since that's been all the way back. I'll leave it there for now, get on and do these bits, um, but I'm going to slide it right off later to paint underneath it as well anyway, so... Well that's a pity, I thought I pressed record when I just struggled to get that massive heavy hatch off and I got it off but the blooming thing hadn't recorded has it so it's down here now and give it a clean up. As you can see it's definitely in need of a bit of TLC. Well that's a bit better now I'm properly set up and I can really get cracking on sorting out the inside of this hatch. Oh, it just feels really good to give everything a proper good old clean out while I'm at it, you know. Blow all the cobwebs out, quite, quite literally. I get all the old crud off from around the hatch runners. That's all nice and clean now. Well, everything's all prepped up now, which is good. I've uh, given everything a little bit of a, a sand up. Uh, I've gone over everything that had bare metal with a little bit of uh, rust killer, because there's a few sort of scratches and bits here and there, only very superficial. And uh, I've also got a bit of filler in a couple of holes that I drilled for things that I ended up doing differently. So it's all just sort of nicely prepped now. Uh, I'm gonna go in, have a bite to eat for my lunch, and when I come out, I'm gonna uh, clean all the rust killer off and uh, put some uh, primer on the bits of bare metal and uh, some primer undercoat on the bits of bare wood so uh, it's coming along nice. This is red oxide primer known for its rust inhibiting properties. The only thing is, I'm uh, getting a bit low on brushes.
now to get on with the bit I'm meant to be doing. The only thing is, it's um, so hot, the paint's drying off the brush, I can barely get, get it on, barely apply it. Still, won't have to wait long before I can do a second coat, will I? Well, by the time I've been round, they're certainly all dry, so I'll give it a quick go over with this. give it a second coat of uh, primer undercoat but what I've done is I've uh, thinned the paint out a little bit partly just because it's a hot day and it's drying quick and partly because the paint's probably getting a little bit thick now anyway as it's sort of two-thirds of the way through the pot but that will enable me just to sort of whiz over it before it dries I was in two minds whether it needed a, a second coat or not so um, It'll have sort of half a second coat. Who says I don't do things by halves? Sometimes that's the best way though, isn't it? Yeah, that's gone on really well. And it'll be dry in two minutes. Just a very quick sand, getting bits off that might have blown onto the paint. Not forgetting this bit, of course. Final coat. All done. Well, it wasn't a big job, but uh, I managed to get a little bit more done than I thought. Tidied up a few bits around the hatch, and uh, I'm just going to let it all dry while I have a tidy up, and then uh, before I get onto the beer, I'll put the hatch back. Job done. Well, it's a bit heavy and the paint's not quite dry. That'll do. Let's go and have a beer.